Welcome back. This is part three of Artisan Commands. In this episode, we're going to be talking about the closure-based commands available in Laravel. Now, in the previous two episodes, we worked in a full-fledged class that was a console command. However, Laravel offers another convenient way of having commands, and that is through a closure. For very simple commands, this approach is quite good. So let me show you how to find the file first. If we jump into our routes directory, we've worked with web and we've worked with API. But there's another one here for console, and this allows us to define a closure-based console command. So this is pretty cool. Check this out. So there is a command in here already, and that is inspire. Let's run that now and see what it does. PHP artisan inspire. It always seems impossible until it is done. So this command just picks out a quote and sends it back to the user. Pretty cool command. So it's actually using this inspire class and just calling the quote on it. And if we look at this inspire command, we see there's a handful of commands in here that it chooses from, and then it's calling the random method on it. So all we're getting is a random quote from someone. Pretty cool command. This is a very simple command, and obviously this is a great use for it. Let's add our own now. I wanna make a simple command to clean out any companies that are not being used in our project. So we're gonna fetch any company that's not being used, and we're gonna delete that record. So how can we handle that? We'll say artisan command, and what's our command going to be? Well, contact is our prefix, so we'll say contact company dash clean. And then as a second parameter, you have to pass in a closure. Now in here, this is no different than the handle method from our actual command. So I'm going to say just for now, this info, and I will just say cleaning. Command, that's a D. All right, there we go. All right, so let's run PHP artisan. And if we scroll up, we do have this second command right here. Now to add the description, we can pass that to the end of this and just say describe cleans up unused companies. All right, so now if we run PHP artisan again, cleans up unused companies. Pretty cool. So we have added a command in line using a closure. So how can we fetch all of the unused companies? So check this out. We could say company, and that is being imported here at the top, use app company. If you don't add that in, then you will get a company not found exception. So we'll say company where doesn't have, and what is the relationship that we are looking for? where the company doesn't have any customers. Remember, if we go to the company model, remember that company has customers. So this is the relationship that we are using. So companies where doesn't have any customers, and let's just get them for now. I will die and dump that. I just wanna show you what it actually outputs. Let's run PHP Artisan, contact company clean, and sure enough, we get a list of companies nine to be exact. Now, obviously eight, because it is zero based index. So none of these have any customers. So we can safely delete all of them. So now let's chain everything together and do the command in one big swoop. So we'll say get them. And then each one, what I want you to do is run them through this closure. We're going to be receiving a company right here. And we can say company delete this and then maybe we'll use the warning delete it and then let's pass in that company's name that way we know what we actually deleted does that make sense we're going to grab the company model and then where it doesn't have any customers then we're going to get that so at this stage what we have is a collection of companies that don't have any customers then we're going to take each one and we're going to run them through this closure now this closure, it's going to receive each of those companies as a variable. Then we're going to call the delete method on it. And then we're simply going to output something back to the user. So they know that we actually completed something. Great. Let's try it out. I'm going to run that one more time. That's PHP artisan contact company clean. All right. And sure enough, we deleted DEF company, a test company, new company, a bunch of banana companies, and then cool company. Now, if we run that again, then of course we don't get anything. If we head back to our browser, hit refresh, 
we've successfully cleaned up our companies. Obviously, there was only one company, ABC company here. So let's add a new company. So what is the company name? New company, phone number, yes. All right, so now we have this new company. So let's add a new customer, email at email.com. And let's make sure that we use that new company. So we added that customer and of course now new company is being used. So if we go back and try to do a cleanup, we don't clean anything because both of those companies are correct. So I will actually go ahead and delete this record. So now there are no customers associated with that second company and I will run our command one more time. And sure enough, we deleted it because there was nothing associated with it. So let's recap everything that we took care of. If we go back to PHP Storm, we made a new artisan command, but this time we made it inside the console routes file. First, we went to routes and we found that console.php. We did explore this inspire command, which all it does is it randomly generates a quote and gives it back to the user. But then we added our own artisan command using this signature right here. And what it does is it goes through our companies and anything that does not have a customer associated to it, we're going to take each one of those and we're going to delete them and then we're going to output out something back to the user so that we know exactly what we did. Now this is a cool little command and it joined our other command that we already had made. If we go to PHP Artisan, we do see that we have two commands now that we've put together. This first one, of course, is a class-based command, and this second one is a closure-based command. Now, there's a good use case for either one, but I think that you get the point. For a simple command, something like this works great. If you have a command that is a little bit more robust and it's got a lot of logic in it, probably its own dedicated class will be a better place for it. This command here, as an inline command, is kind of already pushing the boundaries, I think, of what should be a closure based command. It's got about 10 lines of code in it and it's getting a little big. So anything bigger than this should probably go in its own class. Now this is another place for you to be able to experiment with a command. This is a great way for you to dive into commands and start using everything in the command and then when you're ready you can refactor it to its own class. So it's a great place to experiment. So keep that in mind whenever you're trying to find a little playground for you to experiment with some stuff. This is a great place for you to do it. So with that, we've covered all of the basics of artisan commands. As always, if you have any questions, drop them in the comments below and I'll try to answer those for you. And so with that, in the next lesson, we'll move on to something new.